Hey folks, welcome to another edition of Mr. D Teaches Math, and today what we're going to talk about quickly is something called Euler's Formula. Euler was a mathematician, uh, and he started thinking about and looking at uh, prisms and pyramids and started thinking about how the number of faces, vertices, and edges are related. Uh, and what he discovered is that for any polyhedron um, that we study at, anyway in this, uh, this unit on three-dimensional geometry, is that you take the number of faces, you add the number of vertices, and you minus the number of edges, and the answer is always two. Uh, and so you write it out as a formula like this. You say F plus V minus E equals two. You recognize faces plus vertices minus edges equals two. So let's try it on, uh, on a tetrahedron. This is a... Uh, a three-dimensional shape that's made up of all of all um, triangles, and so what we are going to do is we're going to look at this chart. We see a tetrahedron. It's got four faces. You can count them up: uh, one, two, three, and then four. It has one, two, three, four vertices, four corners, and then it has six edges. So you take four and you add four. You take away six and equals 2, okay? And if you think about a cube, uh, I have one here that's not glued together. It looks roughly like this. If you take this cube, okay? Cubes have six faces. They have eight vertices, and they have 12 edges. 6 plus 8 is 14, minus 12 equals 2. All of these equal 2. You'll notice that. Uh, octahedrons, uh, which are made up of eight faces. Dodecahedrons, which have 12 faces. And then icosahedrons, which have 20 faces and are made up of all triangles. Um, that formula works. Oops, sorry guys. That formula works for all of them. Uh, and so I have something here about cubes, about six faces, eight vertices, and 12 edges. Uh, now, these five shapes, they are all called platonic solids. Okay, and uh, that actually gets into 8.7, uh, which is something called a uh, regular polyhedron. Okay, uh, If you remember back to our unit on two-dimensional geometry, we talked about regular polygons. Okay, uh, And regular polygons were, were polygons that where all of the sides were the same length and all of the angles were the same. Um, now what we're going to do is look at something called regular polyhedra, and they have another name. Uh, they are called the platonic solids. Okay, they're called the platonic solids. And uh, you'll notice, I'll just show you the stuff out of the out of the book. So here you have these are the regular polygons: triangle, square, pentagon, hexagon, octagon, decagon. Okay. Uh, those are the regular, those are regular polygons. These five shapes here, the cube, the tetrahedron, there's an octahedron, and then there's something called an icosahedron, and then the dodecahedron. These are all um, the regular polyhedra. Those are called the platonic solids. Okay? And what we know, uh, we say that the regular polyhedra are called the platonic solids they're named after the Greek scholar Plato, who discovered that there are only five of them. Okay, um, Plato set up the world's first academy, and it was uh, a school where he brought together experts in all branches of learning to teach and to do research. The school was in an olive grove near Athens, which is in Greece. The land had once been owned by a man named Academus, a Greek hero in the Trojan War. Okay, um, Now, tetrahedrons have four faces. Um, Octahedron has eight faces. Tetra actually means four, uh, and octa actually means um, octa means eight. Um, so, what determines the name of the regular polyhedron has to do with the number of faces that it has. So, if you think about that for a second, a cube has six faces. So, you could technically call a cube a hexahedron because it's got six faces. Okay. Um, now, dodecahedrons have 12 faces, and then icosahedrons have 20 faces, and then all acid, uh, the dodeca and then the icosa have to do with the prefixes as well. Um, so that's 
kind of a couple of things about how faces, vertices, and edges are related, and then into 8.7, which is platonic solids. So, have an excellent evening.